Let's talk about this painting. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things. Let's just throw up a few words, shall we? Average, mediocre, has not taken any art classes since about the ninth grade, but still has an art Instagram. Um, if you're still here after that, thank you, welcome. Now let's throw up a couple of words that may be of interest when I um, try to do what the title of this video says I'm going to do. Metallic gold paint, fabric paint, white denim, faces, hands, incredibly detailed painting. Okay, now that we've said all those things that are incredibly hard to work with, let me show you what experience I actually have painting. I painted this. Let me go grab the other thing. So um, this is my first painting on denim jacket thing that I did. If you want to see how I painted this. Self promo. Anyway, now that I've said um, all of my experience and shown you all of my experience, um, I'm going to attempt to paint this. I have actually sketched on my jacket the painting i did the sketch on two pieces of a4 paper taped together and then put it on a light pad and then just sketched it through the white denim jacket i actually have a black denim jacket but i couldn't trace my sketch onto the jacket because it was not see-through like this white one so i know that the gold may look better on the black but we're doing what we can here now let me just say this gold fabric paint it was a journey getting it I decided late one night that I really wanted to paint this painting as, you know, late night decisions. They're not the best decisions, but we run with them because... I took a little trip to the art store and got one of these. I'm not sponsored by these. So yeah, it's now 3.30 p.m. on a Saturday, and I will definitely take these earrings off before I start attempting this actual painting because, you know, I'm about to wreck this jacket. Um, <laughs> so who's excited? No one's excited. All right. While I'm painting right now, I'm just going to say a few reasons why fabric paint is actually really difficult to paint with. Um, fabric paint is not like acrylic paint, so it's supposed to be this kind of softer medium um i do have i do paint with acrylic paint but like it's not as watery like acrylic paint if you place it in an area it won't kind of like soak up into the fabric but this one is kind of like a glue so it kind of soaks up into the fabric i mean i don't know this is i don't know anything about how paints are made or anything but this is just what i'm feeling when i'm painting with it so that's just my two cents I'm 24 minutes in and I feel like this is the moment that I start regretting starting this. I feel like I got the colors wrong on their skin. Um, but we'll see <laughs> what I can do about it. This is where I'm up to now, and I've been painting for, I think, just a little over an hour. Um, I'm just gonna fill in some of these white gaps with very watery black paint. 
But anyway, I just wanted to say that fabric paint is an absolute pain um, to paint with. I don't know how people paint with this paint every single day. It dries like super quickly. So like all of this is like dry paint. So like you're wasting so much paint. How am I feeling about it up to now? Well, I kind of see that it's hard to layer this paint so actually where her hair is right here there's supposed to be some flowers but i'm now i'm getting worried that i can't paint over this paint like i might have to do two or three layers of this paint and even cheat and use acrylic for the white um and then i don't know if i can throw it in the wash if i use acrylics so we'll see how it goes but i think by painting this part i've learned how to paint then this next part this hand's a little messed up but we can just cover it and yeah this is where i'm at update i can layer some paint over these areas that i've painted over i don't think it looks as bright so i think that's one thing to keep in mind and i might have to do another layer of this paint to make it look kind of bright i'm thinking that i'm just gonna paint for the next couple of hours a bit more so i think i will set up tomorrow and paint a bit more tomorrow so yeah i'll see you then just kidding it's not tomorrow yet but i cheated a little bit and added some acrylic white paint to my fabric paint to brighten up these colors over here to layer them on top and i think that looks a bit better and i also did these black squares on his coat um i think i blacked out sometime during painting these i'm not sure exactly when because of all the straight lines that i had to pull on this um fabric that is like diagonal and i had to put all these straight lines in anyway so yeah that's the update for tonight all right good morning everyone don't mind me i'm just putting a heap of you know really healthy chocolate into my milk Today is day two of me painting, um, but now it's currently 10.30 a.m. So I didn't wake up early as I planned to, and I just made some, you know, breakfast. Okay, see you there. So I think today's painting is going pretty well. I am beginning to work on her kind of dress area here. And actually all the details are kind of taking a while. So I don't think I'll be done with this painting today. I think when you start actually looking at paintings and trying to replicate them, you can see just the massive amount of detail that the artist has put into it. I think I've run into a little bit of an issue while painting over here. I think I made her dress look like a tree trunk. So she's a tree now, I guess. This is the tiniest brush that I have. I don't have anything else smaller than this. So it was a decision in between making these lines more far apart because they're thicker so i don't lose that gold underneath or making them super close together and then losing that gold underneath and i didn't want to lose that gold so now she's a treat trunk um yeah that's my update okay she's a tree trunk she's a tree trunk with like lichens and mold and plants growing on it oh my god let's just hope that when i do this whole coat this doesn't look like a tree anymore. All right, I think this is as much as I'm going to paint today. It's around 7 p.m. I'm gonna go have some dinner and probably eat this delicious grapefruit. Um, I really love grapefruits. I wish this gold was a bit more shinier. I don't know, I came back to it and she doesn't look that much like a tree trunk anymore. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to work and maybe I'll paint some more after work, who knows. See y'all tomorrow.
Bye. Your girl is dead tired, okay? She worked Monday and Tuesday from 9 to 5, and frankly, she didn't want to paint anything. I found it a much better use of my time to go out and get frozen yogurt instead of paint. Can I add mukbang into the title of this video now that I'm eating something? If you're enjoying this video so far, comment down below frozen yogurt so that I know you made it all the way here. So yeah, I only have his coat left to do and I'll probably finish it sometime this week. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my frozen yogurt, take a shower, and then just relax the whole night. If you're still wondering if after two days I still think she looks like a tree trunk, yeah, I still think she kind of looks like a tree trunk. And I don't think that gold paint is shiny enough, but I hope you didn't come to this video wanting a professional opinion because there's none here. Okay, bye. See you when I'm done painting, whatever day that is going to be. All right, thank you for staying all the way till the end to see the completed product. I am really happy with how it turned out. Even though I'm not a warm colors person, I'm usually more like a purple bluish girl. I think these yellowish tones and golden tones really look nice and I did my makeup to suit them. I think this is one of my most detailed um, and aesthetically pleasing pieces up to now. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I don't think she looks like a tree trunk anymore now that she blends in with all of this gold and all of the squiggles and lines and things. And I also did the pockets in gold because I thought it kind of gives it a bit of pizzazz. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe. Um, my Instagram and Twitter is in the description, but I'll also put them up here again. And I also want to thank everyone who still stayed here, even though my channel went through a content change. See you guys next time I upload. Bye!